Hi everybody, today we start uh, with a very important topic uh, that is the automatic uh, reinforcement calculation in concrete element uh, that uh, is totally automatized uh, in uh, Codaster. Here, to give you the taste uh, of, the, of how much is powerful this uh, function, uh, there is this uh, example uh, in the validation uh, cases uh, where uh, uh, it is computed uh, uh, the reinforcement of uh, an actual building. Uh, here, for example, uh, you can see the, um, the visualization of reinforcement uh, for uh, every story. This means that uh, this function actually is something that you can use uh, in your profession and also you can use it as uh, uh, Codaster is uh, highly validated uh, for uh, verify the uh, computation maybe you have done uh, with other sub software that are not validated uh, or that are not so reliable as Codaster. Uh, to start, uh, uh, the, the first part of the exercise is very similar of the, other, of the previous uh, video uh, with uh, uh, one difference that here we are working uh, in Newton and meters, so this uh, uh, surface that is our slab, uh, it will be uh, five meter per two meter and uh, the boundary condition will be here and here as a pinned uh, edge uh, uh, boundary condition. So we have this, uh, these uh, groups uh, to put uh, the pinned and then this lab where we'll put the pressure. Uh, the mesh, as you can see, is regular. And now we go to a test study where in the uh, characteristic here we are respectful of the fact that we are uh, working in meters and we are doing with vector uh, uh, a changement of the uh, local x axis uh, that is uh, oriented uh, along the y global axis and then the material uh, is, uh, is not no more in megapascal and then the load uh, as you can see here is defined in uh, force cock uh, that means force on the plate element and uh, here you have fz minus uh, 2000 newton per square meter okay so we do a static mechanical analysis. To start this procedure of the reinforcement calculation, we need, first of all, uh, to calculate uh, the FJ L node. So the general efforts uh, for the nodal, for the nodes related to the element, because the calculation uh, of the uh, reinforcement will be related to every element of the mesh so we will use a reuse so we will uh, let's say enlarge this uh, concept and then we will go exactly to the calculation uh, mode so we will go here for a reuse we will go for the calc champ because we need the fjl no the type of combination uh, will be uh, the ultimate limit state we have also the serviceability but for this example we will go here and we will require the codification of the xc2 where there is also the bind 91 uh, for the assignment uh, we will have a lot of things to understand uh, first of all uh, we want to uh, select the slab uh, if you have more uh, uh, slabs or walls, uh, uh, here you can select uh, everyone to put their uh, uh, precise and characteristic distinctiveness. Uh, for the units, uh, we are going in Pascal, here we are putting 0 0.04 C inf and 0 0.04 C sup, that are the distance between uh, the superior uh, surface of the concrete and the rebar. 
however every one of this uh, um, of these keywords are well uh, described here in the documentation of Kaspar Ayaj we are uh, going for the EC2 so we are looking for the EC2 here we are C-soup for example distance uh, uh, from the concrete start phase uh, and the axis of reinforcement uh, on the higher phase and here you have all the for example here elastic limits of steel uh, characteristic resistance of the concrete in compression so every one of this is well described here and uh, please remember that you have always uh, to understand that there is both the ultimate limit state but also the serviceability so you can uh, have the whole uh, uh, code compliant um, rebars calculation so we are going to put some values here to run the calculation for example here c6 here you will go for Then uh, we need this. I'm going, let's say, very fast because I think that uh, every one of you needs to understand very well the, um, the documentation on this. Uh, I will show you only how to accomplish uh, the calculation. Now we go uh, printing the res results. Uh, we will go for uh, rank armed. We will create this uh, file. Yes, I already created one because I tested the procedure before. Result. We will print the Casper Ayage uh, and we ask uh, to print all the fields. Okay, okay. Now we go here and uh, we run uh, the computation okay so now we are opening our results here we have for example uh, the displacement that we calculated and then we go to the ferraillage uh, here we have uh, all the keywords of this field uh, that you can find easily uh, here so here for example density of longitudinal reinforcement in the x uh, direction for the lower face of the element so here we are speaking about the x direction because uh, when we put the vector the vector we put the x local in the uh, y global direction so this is here the um, the density of the um, reinforcement here is clearly written that the density is in uh, square meter per meter or square meter per square meter and uh, it is very important also to say that uh, everything is calculated uh, uh, with the theory of the method uh, Capra Mauri that has uh, big li literature and uh, so here you can uh, see uh, every component uh, of the density of the calculation of reinforcement this is a very big topic let's say and uh, i would be very grateful if uh, you want that uh, i expand it uh, in some way you can put it in the comments and uh, it would be a pleasure for me to uh, enlarge uh, the discussion uh, in the direction uh, you will ask uh, as I said before, this is a very uh, powerful uh, feature of Codaster and uh, I will be very happy if you have the opportunity to give it a try. Live long and prosper.